Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I wanted to get on here today and just uh, relay a message of just something that's been going on in, in my life and, and making sure that, you know, I, I'm just so thankful that I have uh, I have this friend and her name is Armella. Um, she means the world to me, man. She's somebody that I know that I can go to when I need prayer, that I could go to when I need encouragement, that I, I know that she'll be there with me through thick and thin and as I will be there for her through thick and thin. Um, and just, I, I wanted to make an, a video on the importance of friendship of just making sure that you have a support system making sure that you have somebody that you can talk to and you know when things are going crazy in your life and you know you you feel like you're just being suffocated with all kinds of different things and, and the devil's just coming at you constantly that you have somebody that you can rely on and that you can pray with um just the importance of a true friend, man. And Armella is somebody that I can truly say is my friend. Um, that no matter what I call her with, no matter what I'm going through, that she'll be there for me. Um, and sometimes the things that I have to say to her are, are hard pills to swallow, man. It's uh, It might be something that I feel that the Lord has revealed to me that... Uh, I don't think it's time for me to, to share with anyone um, except her. And I'll, I'll go to her and, and and we'll pray together and we'll ask for confirmation. And and um, she, she's been there for me a lot. Um, I get attacked a lot, guys, spiritually. I, I get supernaturally attacked a ton. Um, so I know all about spiritual warfare, and that's why the Lord has kind of led me into a deliverance ministry, um, because I know it's it's all real, because I've experienced all of it. Um, I experience more than than probably the average person does. Um, that's not to say like I'm, uh, you know, better than anyone. Um, I just uh, I know some of the things that the Lord has asked me to do and I know the devil will not attack an empty vessel but attack somebody that's a threat to him and I know I'm a threat I know I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big threat to him um, so I rejoice in that I'm counted worthy to suffer for Jesus um, what an honor what an honor that you know, re rejoice when they cast your name out as evil, when they, for the Son of Man's sake, rejoice. Jump for joy, um, because great is your reward in heaven. But this video is about friendship, guys, and just the importance of making sure that you have somebody. That you have somebody that you can always go to. That when times are hard... You have somebody that you can call and you can just talk to and vent to. And, you know, I, I have other friends besides Armella. I have a, a, a friend um, that the Lord brought back, in, back into my life named Michelle. And I know that she'd be there for me, too. Um, and I, I have a friend, Cole, and, you know, he's, sometimes he's there, sometimes he's not. But um, I know that uh, he loves me. And it's just important to have people in your life that no matter what's going on with you, that you can run to and you can pray with. And, you know, sometimes they might put you back on that narrow path. Sometimes you need people to keep you in check, uh, like an accountability partner, like, hey, man, you're not supposed to be doing that. Um, you know, you should repent of it and, you know, I just... It's good to have somebody like that, man. Not somebody that's just going to tell you what you want to hear all the time. You know, anybody, um, you know, it, it's it's different, man. You, you need somebody that is in this fight with you. Um, because our battle's not against flesh and blood. It's against principalities, strongholds, demons, things that we cannot see. That's the stuff that we're facing. So the stuff that you're going through with, um, you know, family members, friends, you know, you feel like everybody's kind of the world's coming at you. Um, but your battle's not against them. It's against what's inside of them. 
and who is pulling the strings inside of them, man. And that's the devil. And the devil doesn't fight fair, man. He'll come at you with your friends, your family, uh, people that are close to you. And he'll, he'll straight up attack you. I've looked the devil right in his eyes through my mother. You heard me. Through my mother, I looked at the devil right in his eyes. Um, it's, uh, it's getting dark, guys. So it's so important for us to have friends. Not worldly friends. Followers of Jesus Christ that can keep us accountable for things that we do, things that we say, that can keep us on that narrow path. You know, I've, I've never been one to believe that one, two, three, say this prayer after me and you're saved. That is false. That's not true. And it's with the heart. Your heart must believe the words that you say or else those words have no power. But if you believe the words that you say, I believe with all of my heart, you will be saved. Because that's what Romans 10, 19 says. But it's belief in the heart. It's not just the prayer. It's the prayer and the heart. They both have to agree with one another. So, it's just important, man, for us to have people that we can depend on. You know? And, and sometimes it's... I know it's hard for Armella to, to hear some of the things that that I face and some of the things that I need confirmation on and some of the things that I feel like I'm being led to, uh, to reveal to others. And I rely on her um, to know, you know, is this true? Um, do you feel, do you feel the spirit move when I talk to you and I tell you these things? Um, because I know she's a, a daughter of, of the Most High God, and she's special, and she's special to me, and I know she's special to the Lord, um, and I know that I can rely on her, and that she's not just going to tell me things that I want to hear, that, you know, if I'm, if I'm off base, she'll put me back on track, and the same with her, if she's off base, I'll put her back on track, and it's just good to have friends, <clears throat> accountability, friends that you can Man, when you have a bad day, that you just have somebody that you can vent to. Armella and I were both having really bad days today. And she helped me and I helped her. And that's what we're all supposed to do, man. We are never meant to go through this life by ourselves. The devil wants you by yourself, in your own thoughts, secluded, away from everybody, and so he could pick at you. So he can mess with you. So he can put thoughts in your mind and in your heart. And it'll drive you insane, guys, if you're just by yourself all the time. It's good just to have somebody, you know, that one person that you can run to. You know, we can always, we always run to the Lord, but it's good for us to confess our sins to one another. It's good for us to have somebody to, to put us on the narrow path. You know, when we slip up, it's good to have somebody to, to talk to. And it's good to just have that support system. Whether how, how large or how small that support system is, uh, it could be one person. It could be a hundred people, you know? Um, but just truly having people in your corner and truly having people that are following the Lord now, it's one thing to confess with your mouth, but it's it's another thing to to walk with him, to pick up your cross daily and follow him, and not follow a fallen world, not fall into this politically correct culture. Um, we uh, we need to have brothers and sisters of Christ that keep us on that narrow road. Um, and I'm just thankful that the Lord has placed certain individuals in my life that, you know, when they need me, they know that I'll be there. And I know when I truly need them that they'll be there. So, 
I was wondering what my next topic would be and because I've just been really going through it, man. Um, just a lot of spiritual warfare, guys. Um, you can lift me up in prayer. I, I would love your prayers. Um, and if anybody needs prayer, I'll gladly pray for you. Um, it's just so, so, so important to have somebody to reach out to, um, to pray for you, to have somebody to vent to, and that's a friend. And the Lord taught me how to be a true friend, which I didn't know how to be a friend when I was living in the world. And uh, before I came to Christ, I had no idea what it was to be a friend to somebody. Uh, but now I do. I do, man, and it's just being there through the, the good and the bad times and to be able to lean on each other and lift one another up um, with so much evil and so much hate in the world man it's it's, it's your spirits can really get bogged down um, and you can get bitter um, with all the stuff that's going on um, you know, just this world's falling apart, but everything is falling into place for Jesus to return. Everything. So, it may look chaotic. It may look like there's just, you know, no hope, but everything's happening exactly how it's supposed to. And make sure that you have somebody that you can depend on, that you can pray with, and that you can battle, that you can go to war with, that you'll be there for them, and they'll be there for you. Um, so, that's all I have, guys. Um, I pray that this encourages who it's supposed to encourage. Uh, I felt led to do it, so I came on here and made a video like I tell you in all of my videos man I'm not gonna get on here unless I'm led and when I feel like I have something um, that's when I'll get on here and, and make a video so um, I pray that this motivated you I pray that it touched you um, I pray that the Lord would strengthen you to get through uh, whatever you're going through just know you're not alone um, you know when one part of the body is attacked all of us are attacked and we're all feeling it man everybody's feeling it everybody feels weary but just know that the Lord's with us and we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us no matter what we're going through and you have brothers and sisters that you can rely on and it's just important to not seclude yourself and be with the body and lift one another up, not tear each other apart. Um, I don't know what's been going on with, you know, all these so-called Christians and um, just ripping people's channels apart, pages apart. Uh, if you don't have something nice to say about your brother or sister, man, just don't say anything at all. It's really simple. Um, there's no need to, to tear into one another. That's what the devil wants. You're doing exactly what the devil wants you to do when you uh, lash out like that. And I know that there's a, there's a lot of fake. And I see it all the time. I see a lot of brothers and sisters that I can tell that it's fabricated, made up stories. Um, but I can tell when people are general, like being sincere um, through the power of the Holy Spirit that lives inside of me, man. And but I'm never going to lash out at those people and tell them that, you know, I just, just that's not how I roll. Uh, and it's not how, how any brother or sister in Christ uh, should be. Now, I mean, if you, if you want to say something to somebody, then do it privately. Pull them aside. The Bible says to, to pull your brother aside and tell him what he did. You know, your brother or sister, hey, you did this. Um, you know, it, it made me feel this way, and I thought that I should reach out. But don't just blast these people in public um like have a little more class have a 
you know, that's, it's not right, man. Um, there's plenty of people that I can do that to, um, but I'm not going to. Um, just know that everybody's going through something. Um, and we'll get through it. And we'll get through it together with friends. And the Lord will be with us through every single step of the way. So, all right, guys. Well, this has gone on entirely too long, but uh, I pray that everybody has a blessed day. And I pray that the Lord would make his face shine upon you. May he bless you and may he give you peace. Uh, see y'all.